Hello there, Force of Will players, and welcome back to another video. For this week's Wander Wednesday, we're going to be taking a look at the new machine cards that we've gotten in Game of Gods Revolution. Uh, my take on them, the ruler that I wanted to put them with, and all that. So getting right on into it, uh, the ruler is going to be Alice Origins Machina. Now, some people have asked for other lists like Violet Machines or Arthur Machines. Those are machine lists. Uh, you can make machine lists with them. They might even be better machine lists than this one. However, I never really played in Alice Origins format, so it was uh, a more fun task for me to go and look at these older cards and then try and add in new stuff to see what you can kind of get working nowadays in the current format. Um, the other two, Violet. Um, Violet has the cycle for drawing and discarding, so you can more easily activate Mechanized Water Soldier, which is kind of the big payoff for machines nowadays. Uh, hitting Union 7, having seven different named machines in all public zones or revealed from outside the game, and then producing three will, and then kind of looping that effect with various cards. Um, three water will to play on machines, but a lot of your stuff is just a machine. Um, so that's one of the new ones in order to loop through stuff. What I found interesting while I was looking through deck building um, and like cards and stuff like that to use was uh, I really like mechanization. So mechanization, if you destroy a machine J resonator you control, you search your deck for a non-champ machine, so that can be any entity that is a machine, and then you put it into play and it gets six plus one plus one counters. So when built, when looking at these machine cards and trying to decide if I wanted Machina, Violet, Arthur with like Harvesting Season would be the Arthur deck, um, I found that Mechanization plays very well on the two drop slot in Machina because not only can you search Mechanized Water Soldier, kill Mechanized Water Soldier to search like Machine Lab of Legendus, which gets you machines back, you can also search Maria Bella in order to get more machines to search. Uh, you can search your, you can put Mary Bell Type Zero into play, which activates Machina. So you basically have a quick cast way of getting a Machina activation, which his effects aren't really <laughs> impactful at quick cast speed, but it is an interesting thing that you can do. Um, those were the main ones. So you're cycling through those with mechanization. Um, the other thing with it is Machina's activations. Um, so you get, when Mary Bell Type Zero, it's the only regalia we have, so you'll always get two activations. You can get a Stranger Resonator, which we also have Machine Strangers um, healing gimmick, as well as, I think it's like Phantasmal something. Um, healing gimmick is a very powerful card. Uh, it's just a zero mana machine that's just a different name. So it just immediately kind of have, gives you your Union 7 type effects. And then, um, I think there's another one. It's like a one-drop quick cast machine. Uh, it's less important, it just it's another name. Um, and then also Machina allows you to put two 2-2 two, two water machine tokens into play. Now tokens have the name of whatever typing they are. So if I put a card that is a water machine into play, its typing is machine, its name is machine. If I put a light darkness fallen angel into play, its typing is fallen angel, its name is fallen angel. That's just how resonator token information works. So um, putting these Water Machine Resonator tokens into play off of Machina just gives us more names. So when we put a Mary Bell into play, not only does the Mary Bell count as a name, if we get one of the um, Stranger Resonators uh, from our Stranger deck, Healing Gimmick, or we're just going to look at it real quick, Mirage Golem, uh, Healing Gimmick or Mirage Golem, both of them count as another name. And then uh, we'd also get the other effect to put m machine tokens into play, so that's another name. So just playing Mary Bell type zero gives us three names in and of itself, in addition to the other effects that it can apply for us. Um, interesting thing to note, so with Arthur and Violet, both of them are a machine on their front side, which means they already count towards Union 7 by just existing. Machina is not. They are a human on the front side, but they are a machine when they judgment. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, so Road to the Machine Lord, this just gets us free, it just gets us more strangers, stuff like that. And then it also allows Mary Bell Type Zero to tap to produce mana for machines. So that's important to play stuff like Maria Bella. It allows us to play our mechanized water soldiers if we need to get them into play, machine level legendists, all that stuff. It just opens up uh, Mary, Bella's, uh, Mary Bell Type Zero to give us more uh, will, kind of like a will ramp, right? Um, mechanization, we kind of talked about what it goes into. 
um, the water soldiers. You can get Kusanagi Matoko to prevent a named card from being played. So if you're like, oh, I'm really afraid of this Zeus player playing, I don't know, Artemis. <laughs> you can be like, uh, name Artemis the fifth Olympian or whatever it is. Um, they can't play it. Poseidon, the second Olympian, things like that. Um, the one of twin robot. So the twin robots here because it gives us two machines, right? The one water machine resonator token and then itself. Um, it is also for determination of the machine lord. So determination of the machine lord is partially a win con. Gives machine J resonator swiftness and plus two, plus two. Um, and it's a sword art, so you can pay for it using Maria Bell, uh, Mary Bell. Um, you can return two machines you control to your hand. That's more for dodging stuff. Very rarely will that come up. It'd be more for like you play a Maria Bella and then you can add it back and then discard it and then stuff like that or like add back a Kusanagi, um, like things like that. Very rarely would you use the machine bounce effect, uh, mainly to protect stuff. Um, or you can search your deck for two machines with total cost one or less and put one into play and one into the grave. So we have three total machines at one or less. We have twin robots and then we have two Guinevere the Mobility Queen. Um, so that is why that one is in the deck. Maria Bella gets us any machine, adds it to our hand for two will. All right, and then if we have Road to the Machine Lord in play, we can just tap Mary Bell type zero, allows us to play Maria Bella. Maria Bella also allows us to pay one to discard her in order to get a Mary Bell type zero. So Maria Bella goes to grave. She's a machine in grave, right? And then you get Mary Bell, play Mary Bell, you're at four names. And then if you have a healing gimmick stranger, you're at five names. If you have the other one, you're at six names. And then having a mechanized water soldier in grave will put you at seven names, right? Mirage Golem is the other one. So the deck just can still hit, even though it's not going as fast as Harvesting Season Dump or Violet discarding cards over and over. It can still hit seven machines very quickly. Uh, Mary Bell, we've talked about, also just functions as like a body to punch your opponent if you RFG with Maria Bella or anything like that. Machine Lab of Legendus. So this gets us machines back from the grave. So it can get us Kusanagis that have died. It can get us Maria Bellas back. It can get us Mary Bell type zeros back that have potentially died. So you can start maybe doing like loops or things with that. Um, those are the main ones. The main reason for Machine Lab of Legendus, it's another name that just gets back whatever you might sack off of mechanization. So if I do kill my Maria Bella, I can put a, well, off of mechanization, I could put a Legendus into play, get Maria Bella back, search my deck for another machine, maybe it's another mechanization, and then you can kind of like go from there, right? Um, Guinevere the Mobility Queen, this is the other reason for Machine Lab of Legendus. Machine Lab of Legendus, if you have two of them and a Guinevere in play, it's an infinite. So what it is, is you have a Guinevere, you have a Legendus in grave, and then a Legendus enters play. Legendus that entered play targets the one that's in the grave, and then in response, Guinevere will sacrifice the one that's resing the other one, because Legendus only requires you to target a machine, which Machine Lab is. Um, so you sack it, uh, resolves, the one that was getting resed comes back, and then that targets the new one in Grave. That was the one you sacked off. And then you just do that over and over again. Guinevere gets infinite plus one plus one counters, and then you can play Determination of the Machine Lord, give her swiftness, and kill your opponent. Um, so that is how that is... Uh, working. <laughs> that is what that is in there for, um, to do that infinite. Remote control beast. Um, I'm I'm not sure about this one. Some of the deck numbers are, might be a little bit off. I might only want to play three Road to the Machine Lord, and remote control beast was a card I've thought about getting rid of for maybe some form of disruption like fair spell lorite something like that because as you can see we don't have any we're just like all in on finding this combo getting our machine so on and so forth we don't have any form of disruption for our opponent so that could be something to look into if you're deciding to make this list um adding lorite's fair spell garyon things like that in order to have some form of interaction with your opponent but with this doesn't require different names it just requires different machines in order to play remote control beast so i found that i mean if you marry maria bella mechanization get mary bell type zero 
or get machine lab of legend is maribella add another mechanization reactivate get maribel you're like at like five machines already so you can just freely play these remote control beasts and sometimes if you just have all that plus some determination you can just potentially hit lethal anyway um so that's why i just have them in there maria bella's work um i'd still play i'd probably play four of this i think i'd play maria bella's work in four of any machine deck if you're playing violet if you're playing arthur any of those because she also counts um arthur and violet for her uh, cost reduction um so maria bella's work um this is it's just a free plus one it's just a free draw two and we've already talked about how quickly you can hit five machines with all these tokens and other things like that that um you're it's just going to be free value for you in order to draw the rest of your pieces more merry bells things like that um and uh, and then origin <laughs> origin origin serves uh to to its credit origin serves a multifunctional purpose in this deck one you're purely in blue and green as you can see from the stone lineup here it's just 10 blue green stones um i didn't want to add any five color or anything like that again you can change that up if you want to it gives you more sideboard options if you play like four moonshade things like that um but the origin you'd mainly produce the green will off of dry wing right but that also allows you're in green so it allows you to play stuff so like with origin you can play a turn one maria bella um which is good <laughs> the other thing is its reveals on dry wing and mechanized fenrir they're different named machines revealed from the RFG. So it just counts as more machine names for us to more quickly hit Union 7. So even if I were to make Arthur, even if I were to make Violet, um, despite the fact of, I mean, all, almost all my decks have Origin Dry Wing in them, um, I would still include, uh, like I would include Origin Dry Wing purely because it's just a free name in addition to the free will to hit Union 7 machine. Uh, mechanized Fenrir, again, it's another name. It also has when it's... Oh, I guess you'd have to play Moonshade to play Mechanized Fenrir. I didn't think about that. I just had it as the additional name. But if you... So if you do do that and you play it, Mechanized Fenrir does also have the ability when it's sacked off, you can search for, um, like, Guinevere. Um, I think it has to be... No, it's just any machine. So you can search your deck for Guinevere. You can search your deck for more Mechanizations, more Mechanized Water Soldiers uh more mary bell type zeros mary bubbles right whatever you need so it just has that uh potential in it um healing gimmick talked about it's a machine you get to banish it gain a thousand life draw a card um and then if your j ruler is machina it does actually have another effect you can pay this to and remove remove a machine to put this card from your grave into your hand so you can kind of keep looping gimmicks if you need to um mirage golem it's just another machine that's a single will and it's quick casts it's a seven seven um it's less important i mean it get, having flying and barrier is kind of neat especially with the um the blocking effects so it can block pretty efficiently but it's just another named machine for us um sprout of treasure tree uh discard a card banish produce three wheels of any one attribute uh i mean that's just like decent for us we're pretty predominantly in blue blue green um, so we're allowed to play it and we want stuff in our grave like more machines in our grave in order to hit union seven so it allows you to like discard mechanized water soldiers produce three blue will do whatever uh athenia actually does quite a lot um so one uh you can put up to two cards in a removed area into your grave this lets you recycle um the uh, mechanized water soldiers uh which is quite good um and then uh when athenia is put into the grave you can also pay a green get another stranger so it allows you to cycle through strangers more uh, and then when you can banish her to give a regalia barrier less important to give your strangers barrier but you can give your mary bell type zeros barrier if your opponent's trying to kill it and you need it um but so it allowing it, it just does a whole lot for the deck like every effect is impactful on athenia and then blue wizard just cancel target automatic ability of a resonator it's really our only form of interaction in the deck again we don't have lorets we don't have fair spells feel free to add them if you so choose but that is the deck for this wander wednesday i do apologize if this isn't the machine list you wanted there will be uh potentially more in the future i'd try and not do like the same type of deck back to back um but uh we shall see um but anyway thank you all so much for watching hope to see you in the next video bye, -bye.